Hello guys, this is breaking news, okay, that's only been released very, very recently. Although by now, I'm sure most of the world will know about this, okay? Um, particularly in Western countries, which, you know, um, were close to Britain in some way. Um, today, on the 8th of September, which is one day before my birthday, me personally, okay, um, Queen Elizabeth II has died. She reigned, that means she was the Queen, for 70 years. And this year was her Platinum Jubilee. The whole year was designed to be a celebration of her being Queen for 70 years and many hopes that the whole year would end with her still alive so that the entire year would not be, um, you know, I don't know. You know. Although most of the festivities are now over, um, you know, it was meant to be a whole year for to celebrate her being Queen. That will no longer be the case for the rest of the year, obviously, because she is no longer alive. Um, at the moment, details have not been revealed as to how she dies, although people have no reason to believe anything other than basically old age in very simple terms, um, but obviously a medical version of that. Um, she was, I believe, 96. And... Just checking on this. And contrary to popular belief, when she was born, she wasn't destined to be queen automatically. Even if um, her father had no more sons or daughters, she was not automatically destined to be queen. I'm not sure, I don't understand fully all of this, but this had something to do with the abdication of um, her uncle, Edward VIII, um, partly for being a Nazi sympathiser, partly because he wanted to marry a woman, and Parliament at the time wouldn't let him. In fact, Edward VIII's story is very similar in many ways to Prince Harry's, except times have changed, and nowadays marrying a divorced woman isn't the taboo it was back in the past. Um, and so, you know, Parliament at the time said to Edward, you have a choice if you marry this woman, or we will all quit our jobs and you will not have a government, and we will not support you. So Edward VIII decided that he would rather quit his job and marry the woman he loved, um, Wallace Simpson. It's a well-known story, but anyway. So because he um, abdicated, um, his brother, um, George, became the king. And Elizabeth was the oldest daughter of King George. As I said, when um, Elizabeth was born, I believe she was not destined to be the Queen if there were no more, um, you know, if her parents did not have any more children, for example, right? Uh, didn't have a son, okay? And because, as I said, originally it would normally have been a case that Edward would have got married, had children, um, and then his children would have been um, the heirs to the throne instead. That would be, have been, and so Elizabeth would never have become queen. And nor would um, a son of George's either. It only happened because Edward abdicated from the throne, and as a result of that, um, it also meant his children would not be um, immediate heirs to the throne. Okay, so anyway, um, 
this year, as I said, um, the public celebrated 70 years of the Queen being the Queen. Um, there were celebrations all over the country. Um, there were some in the city centre where I am. I went to one or two of them. I did videos of it. Um, generally, she's been respected, even by her crit even by critics of the royal family. So many people who even John Lydon, you know, the singer of the Sex Pistols, okay, um, where basically they had in the 70s they basically had a sort of alternative um, jubilee where they protested against the existence of the monarchy, sang songs against the monarchy. Even he, and this is when she was still alive, by the way, said that um, he respected, even though he may not entirely agree with the monarchy. He respected that she had carried out the role with dignity and respect and not really embarrassed anyone or done anything really bad, even if he totally disagreed with the monarchy existing. OK, thinking of waste of money or whatever. Right. And he later in later years said it was more about the institution itself than the individual people, i.e. her personally. Right. And this is coming from one of the biggest critics of the Queen while she was still alive. Right. So many people respect that she carried out the duties. She didn't embarrass the country. She um, put, you know, uh, duties wherever they were first before herself in many cases. Um, and she carried on her duties even till two days ago when. Um, so. On Monday, for example, um, the new Prime Minister was announced, and I believe it was on Tuesday, um, I'm the 6th I believe, when um, the new Prime Minister was um, became the new Prime Minister as part of the ceremony, um, both um, Liz Truss, the new Prime Minister, and Boris Johnson, the then current Prime Minister, but now the former Prime Minister, had to see her as part of the handover, and so she carried out her duties by say, talking to them, etc., and hosting the event um, as part of her official duties. I know it's very simple, I just turn up, talk to her, and do some of her strange things, apparently, like mm. I am in the past, Rob. Um, their lips against her hand or something, some strange um, tradition they have, which I call the kissing of hands. I'm not even making this up, but apparently they don't kiss hands anymore. So just two days ago, she carried out this um, constitutional ceremony as part of the, ha the changeover of Prime Minister. So she's saw the change of Prime Minister just two days before she died today. In the past, when there was World War II, um, many princesses would decide they just want to go out, shake a few hands, do nothing more. She decided to be a mechanic and trained to be a mechanic fixing jeeps, which is not the sort of thing you would expect a royal princess to do, as she was at the time. So she does have respect for me from me for doing that because it's you know most princesses probably wouldn't really like to get their hands physically dirty she didn't mind okay literally okay so um as i said i'm sure other organize other news organizations and other areas can talk more about her than i can i know that um in the 70s there's the first jubilee which was the um which was the um, Silver Jubilee, then to, to celebrate 25 years of her being Queen. Then there was the Golden Jubilee, um, followed by the, I think it was Diamond Platinum, I think it was Diamond Platinum Jubilee, I think. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. And this year, it was the Platinum Jubilee to celebrate 70 years. She's apparently been the longest reigning monarch in the world ever, I believe, right? Um, I could be wrong on that, but I think that's the case. I know she's definitely, she, when she was alive, 
Um, I, you know, just when I, when I, I know she's alive yesterday, I believe. Right, unless they, you know, covered it up. Um, then, um, she was definitely the longest living um, monarch, you know, in recent, you know, recently, okay? So, as I said, um, what happens now? Well, there'll obviously be a funeral. Um, then, um, what was known as Prince Charles, but now is being referred to everywhere as King Charles, will um, become the king. It's been um, stated he will rule as King Charles III. And um, for a few years now, he's been doing many of the um, duties that were once done by the Queen, particularly abroad. Um, king Charles is a, a device, as he will be. Um, he's not had the coronation yet, but he is being referred to as, you know, the king, even though um, now on news channels, even though he's not the king yet officially because he still has to go for a coronation which is a ceremonial process you know where I think he has a crown put on his head and he has to swear an allegiance to the public something like that I believe to you know do good for the public and things like that um, it's also difficult because Charles has been a controversial figure in many ways okay firstly he liked to create controversy himself by um, talking about issues he cared deeply about years before many other people did on things like the environment when it wasn't popular and um, other things and architecture rather the quality of buildings and what the buildings look like and things like that when nobody else really cared about this sort of thing um, now he's the king he's been or will be the king sorry but you know um, he's probably been told to shut up and just shake a few hands and not say anything part of me thinks that's a shame because whether I agree with his views or not um, he was somebody who I believe liked to speak his mind and campaign for things and now he won't be allowed to even though he is the king it, it'd be too controversial he's, he's just meant to shake hands and do as he's told um, so it'll be interesting to see whether he does actually um, speak upon things or not I know he said that complained um, in an interview that he a few I believe it was a few a few years ago I can't remember exactly when the interview was um, that he'd been told to shut up by people um, although he wanted to speak out of, on things because some people thought he was becoming a hindrance or something so it will be interesting to see how he does in fact actually rule also it's controversial because um, you know, he cheated on Diana with his current wife, um, Camilla. Um, obviously, Camilla was his mistress at the time. Now she's his wife. Um, it's an issue with will the public forgive him for that? Or does the public care enough about that? Um, some members of the public would rather um, William be the king and for Charles to abdicate. We will see what happens, but as I think the nation, well, those that are royalists, will be mourning the death of the Queen. Um, the flag at the palaces has been flown at half-mast to um, show respect for her death, as that's what usually happens when members of the royal family die. Um, I don't know much more about it than what I'm telling you. I put on a black um, t-shirt to show my respect. Um, so there you go. Queen Elizabeth II died officially today, the 8th of September 2022. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.